Okay, so here are the carbon ceramics that'll be going on. Um, give you an idea, <laughs> that's how big they are. Okay, so it is now the day after race day. It is now Monday. Uh, we raced yesterday with Tesla Corsa. Huge thanks to them. Unplugged performance. Randy for coming out. Randy for driving my car. God, it was so much fun. But today is a uh, day back at Unplugged Performance because we have some more mods coming. So a lot of you are probably like, why don't you get the mods done before you went racing? Well, because we wanted to test some stuff out. So we wanted to see how different cars with different levels of modifications did compared to each other with Randy driving them. So that's why we didn't do this prior, but we're getting it done now, so I'll always have it. So we are getting the carbon ceramic brakes. So right now, I obviously don't have that. I have the performance brakes, which is great, but on a track, you tend to get a lot of brake fade and whatnot from just stomping on them a heck of a lot. So this will basically solve that problem, which is great. So let's go ahead and show you what they look like stock. And they're definitely not bad by any means, but yo, we have a bunch of brake dust on here. So we got like all that brake dust. Um, but these are the stock brakes when you get a Performance Model 3. So the carbon ceramics are gonna be bigger, but they're gonna be able to deal with the heat from stomping on them, letting off, and stomping on them some more. Something that these don't do very well on. And it's mainly because these brakes aren't meant to be tracking car like we were. Um, so the carbon ceramics are definitely going to be a better option for what I want to do. Okay, so this is Ben, Unplugged Performance. Hey, how's it going? He has one of the carbon ceramic brakes in here. Um, so we are going to weigh it up, and then we're going to weigh one of the OEM ones and see the difference. So you can see we're zeroed out. Zeroed out. So let's see what this one weighs up at. So we are at 13.45 pounds. Just look at the size of that rotor, by the way. The next one that's going to go down will not be this large. Yeah, it's... Will end up being lighter, <laughs> despite being way, way bigger. Actually, the guys are now taking off the OEM ones, and then we'll weigh that up. Okay, so here we have the carbon ceramics. They're actually pretty darn light. This is the OEM one. Oh my god. So this is now what I'm going to be going to the gym with because this thing is so heavy. Um, let me sit this down. These were 13.45 pounds on the carbon ceramics. This, oh. Put that zero. 19.1. So we're cutting like five pounds on each front right off of that. So that alone will help a bunch of getting unsprung weight out. Yeah, so here you can see size difference. Obviously, just massive over here. This literally, you could put these like on a bar and like bench these. <laughs> actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe that's what I'll do. That's actually a really good idea. I might do that. The cool thing with these is this is actually what Ferrari uses and everything. And the next gen Roadster that we'll be getting coming soon, hopefully is going to be using pretty much the same size and everything for carbon ceramic brakes. But it just goes to show you the kind of pressure and just braking power that these can give you. You can see, obviously, huge size difference. This is way lighter, though, for being so much bigger. And it's actually, I don't know, maybe a good quarter of an inch or so taller and thicker.
I am finally back home in Colorado. Uh, really loving the carbon ceramic brakes. They're actually doing great. Um, really, the only thing I really want to test is 60 to 0 times. Now, we've done a lot of tests in the past, 0 to 60, but we don't use our brakes for that. We're going to use our brakes for 60 to 0. So that's what we're going to test today. We're actually using the V-Box. Part of the app on the V-Box actually will allow us to do a 60 to 0 test, which is great. So we're going to get it up to 60 and then slam on the brakes and see how well it does. I know back in May of 2018, the Tesla Model 3 was getting 152 foot average stopping distance from 60 to zero, and that wasn't good enough for Tesla. So they actually found an ABS calibration algorithm. They had an issue with that. So they were able to actually drop the average by 20 feet. So that being said, they were getting probably about 130, 133 feet from 60 to zero miles per hour. So we're gonna test it and see how these carbon ceramics do. Now, it isn't just about that though. The big thing with the carbon ceramics is we are dropping some unsprung weight, so we should get some better handling. Uh, these carbon ceramics are way lighter, which is great. So we actually also did these steel brake lines. So normal brake lines are rubber and they can expand and contract with the brake fluid getting warmer and everything. That's not great. So we got the steel brake lines, so we're good there. We actually did the brake lines on all four tires, whereas the carbon ceramics, you only do your front, so you don't need to do those on the rear. And we also did high temp brake fluid so that we don't have any issues. Now at the track, we were getting some brake fade with the stock brakes and some people had some overheating issues and that's kind of to be considered the tesla model 3 even though it has track mode is not necessarily optimized for track use because 99 percent of people will use it just for everyday driving and will not track it and be super hard on it but having the high temp brake fluid having the steel brake lines as well as these carbon ceramics should eliminate any kind of issue at the track we can stomp on these all day until they're basically red hot and have zero fade which is awesome it's exactly what i wanted they are not a cheap option though i'll go ahead and link everything down below check them out if you'd like they are pretty pricey so i would definitely recommend them for anybody really going track use for their car if you experience brake fade and you want to get rid of that by all means it's a great option unplug does actually have some other brembo options now so you can check those out okay so it should probably be known i've never actually done a 60 to zero test i'm just gonna throw that out there so we'll just get up to 60 and then slam on the brakes whoo 33.6 meters wait a minute is that true we got to redo this reset okay we're doing it again thirty four meters doing it again thirty five holy crap that's way better than like the hundred and thirty three feet they were able to get it to that's amazing wow okay so the one thing we don't have right here to test, obviously, is a Performance Model 3 without carbon ceramic brakes. So I think what we should do for a future video, because everyone I know with Performance Model 3 is busy or has winter tires on it, and I actually have summer tires, so keep that in mind too. I think what we should do is find one of them, and maybe a future video will be comparing it. But initial results, wow, looks amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these brakes though and see how they're doing because we just we just did quite a few of those Let me just grab you here We'll take the car out of Track mode see if the fans turn off because they're going pretty loud right now Oh, yeah, I can smell the brakes a little bit I should have brought my FLIR, but trust me, they're super hot. It's by far probably the most expensive mod I'll be doing to the car. But I really think for track use, that's what we're going to want. We don't want brake fade. We want to be able to set some track records with this. 
We want to be able to go out and go, go, go all day and not have to worry about our breaks. And that is one thing I personally do not want to jeopardize. So we went the carbon ceramics. We definitely have to pin that against a performance with standard brakes to see a true comparison, but we need them to have the same tires and as much similarities as possible. So definitely subscribe and comment down below if you want to see that test, but initial results are amazing. But that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for really helping make all this possible and sponsoring the channel. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, such as this one, definitely check out their website. They have all kinds of cool things. They have center console wraps, screen protectors, different lights, all kinds of really cool things to make your Tesla your own. And using code Tesla inventory, all one word at checkout, will actually get you 15% off your first order. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>